Welcome everyone. Welcome to Food Delivery App Workshop. I'm Devanshu Shukla from Hackweda Limited. And in today's session, we are going to create a food delivery application. In this food delivery application, we will have three pages. On first page, we will have a healthy food menu, which has multiple pizzas available. We can select one of the pizza or multiple pizzas, and we can see the details, uh, details like small, medium, and large, details like uh, the name of the pizza, price of the pizza, and description of the pizza. Then finally, adding it to cart. Once we add it to the cart, we're going to get a list of all the items which we have purchased, their quantity number, the total number of items, the price we need to pay, and finally checking out. My name is Devanshu Shukla, and I am working with Hackweather since 10 years. I have been working on various domains with Hackweather Limited. Hackweather Limited also works on various verticals, which includes workforce development, software development, research and development, and many more. So let's get started with the workshop today. The today's workshop source code is available on GitHub on Hackweather's GitHub account with the name Food Delivery App. And the source code of the project is available in the description section of the video. So you can download the source code and get started. So once you reach out to this page, we are going to build these three pages and the application source code is also available in Android, Apple iOS, React Native, and Flutter. So if you are looking to get the source codes for other versions also and other form factors and frameworks, you can download the codes from here. So now we are going to get started with the code. So what you're going to do, you have to, once you reach out to the page, you have to copy the URL. Once you copy the URL, you have to download it. Once you download the file, you're going to get the source codes downloaded. You also need to have Android Studio because in this demonstration, we are going to make use of Android Studio to build the project. So once the project gets downloaded, we have multiple versions of the project available. We have a design layout file in XD. We have Android app for Android, for iOS, for Flutter, and for React Native. So you can, in this uh, workshop, we are going to use the Android version. So you can start with the Android version and the source codes is available. So what are we going to do? Once you have downloaded and extracted the project, you have to open Android Studio. Once you open Android Studio, we have to select the project. We're going to open an existing Android Studio project. To select the existing Android Studio project, we'll get to food delivery app main, which we have just downloaded. And I'm going to select the Android project from here. And I'm going to open the project. Once you open the project, the project is going to be configured and built. Here is the food delivery app project. So we are sharing the pre-built code so that you can get started from uh, the minimum design layout. So what do we currently have available in the app? In the app, you have the source codes available where in the source code, we have a resource where we have created all the layouts for activity A, B, and C. So on activity A, we have a menu. I'm going to quickly walk you through with the layouts. So once you see here, you will get the layout, which we have designed for the layout with each and every component. So the design files are available in the XML layout here. So the XML of the constraint layout is coded here, which you can quickly observe. You can drag and drop and modify any of these components, which is required. Then in activity B, we do have the small, medium, and large functionality of the layouts along with the pricing, then adding it to the cart and followed by a C activity. And on this activity, we have the final cart and the checking out mechanism of the application. So now we are going to start writing the code. So initially, when it comes to Android manifest file, I'm going to quickly walk you through with the manifest. In the manifest file, our activity A is going to be the launcher activity. And in the Gradle scripts, I would like to show you the module app will be made for I'm going to quickly change it for uh, compile SDK version should be 28, minimum SDK version should be 25, target SDK version should be 28. So, and you need to have the proper SDK installed on your machine. So we're going to build the model. 
finally so the configuration is successful the gradle sync has started and the food delivery android app has the gradle functionality ready so now i'm going to start writing the code for this so in order to start writing the code i'll quickly take you i'm going to make an interaction somewhat like this here where i want once i will be clicking on this image view i would be going to the second page and i'm going to write a basic layout Uh, so that you will understand how we can quickly get started so once the graphical screen is initialized we are going to write a few code so we are going to find view by id i'm going to define r dot id dot rectangle image view i'm going to type cast it to image view this is for the android code rest you can write for ios flutter react native accordingly as per your choice so i'm going to write image view and this is going to be my uh let's say i'm going to call it as pizza so once i'm going to click on this pizza i will be redirected to the next layout so i'm going to call pizza this is just to show you how we are going to uh write the code logic so i'm going to write a new on click listener here and once i go here on the listener i will be redirected to second activity so i'm going to write a new intent in the new intent i will be going from get application context to the next activity and this is going to be b activity dot class so i have defined an intent and i can call it as intent intent equal to new intent and start activity intent and the current one i'm going to finish so we are going to finish the current activity so now we will get into b activity now in b activity what do we need to do let's say we have an element and i want to add it to the cart okay so here i have the constraint layout and i want to get it to the cart so i'll quickly get to the cart so here are all the components and the cart is constraint layout six constraint layout which i'm going to use here so this is going to be my activity this is going to be my add to cart activity so i'll go to b activity once i reach out to b activity here other codes we have already defined in here so i'm going to write find view by id r dot id dot the b activity and once you are done with that we are going to let's say i'm going to get the constraint layout or i can directly call it as a view as well so that is that won't be a problem or i can quickly modify it to constraint layout as well i can quickly type cast it into constraint layout so i'm going to call constraint layout btn uh, cart and finally i'm going to get the btn cart i'm going to do btn cart dot set on click listener new on click listener and once you go here again we are going to get into intent intent equal to new intent and i'm going to get from this to c activity dot class i'm going to start my activity intent and finally i'm going to call finish for the first activity and i'm going to call it as get application context because this one is a context and now we get to the c activity and now coming on to the c activity finally we will be on the checkout activity and we can put any of the event handlers as you want so uh, now you can see you can access the components right from here and i will quickly get to my device so i'm going to select an android device so our device samsung smg905 is currently connected so i'm going to deploy this application and i'm going to run wiser to show you how 
the application will look like. So here is my SMG905. So now you can see that the build has been successful and the application will be launched. I guess I need to reconnect the device. And we are going to install the app again. The app is running, so we'll get to the next page. So now let's take the application. We are going to click on it. We are going to get to the next page, small, medium, large, with the description and pizza, getting on to add to cart. Finally, we are going to get the cart page and we are done. Thank you so much for watching this project. And the project download link is available at the bottom. You can get full fledged training of designing a complete application you know, of food delivery app with Hackweather Limited. Uh, to learn the application designing, join hackwither.in courses. If you are looking for a food delivery app for your business, you can get us, associate with us, and we can help you with the application for your food delivery business. As well as if you are looking to market the product, feel free to reach out to hackwither.in, where we can help you with how you can promote your food delivery app business. Thank you so much for watching.